hi guys and welcome back again to my kitchen and to my channel this is how to make jamaican peanut drops in the kitchen fast easy and simple if you want to see how me make this a peanut drops in my kitchen come on and let's do this now Okay guys, let's talk about the ingredients and all the things where you're going to need for make up this uh, peanut drops in your kitchen fast, easy, flavorful and simple. Now in this plate right here, I have some grated ginger. Now that is about a cup of grated ginger. I like mine tasting with that ginger, a lot of ginger in mine. You don't have to use that much ginger okay now i have three cups of dark brown sugar i have two cups of roasted peanut guys do not use raw peanuts because you're gonna have to toast it up or bake it up or something just grab yourself some baked peanuts and you're good to go now to this recipe i'm gonna add some cinnamon leaf one cinnamon stick i'm gonna add two tablespoons of vanilla and I'm also going to add a tablespoon of lemon extract. That is all that I'm going to be using into this recipe. So come on and let's get started. Okay guys, we are moving on to our very, very first step. Now, in the pot of four cups of water. Make sure you have four cups, okay? Now, the first thing I'm going to do is add my two cups of baked peanuts. Then I'm going to add three cups of brown sugar and you had your ginger like I said before if you want to add a half a cup you go ahead and you had it if you want to add a cup like I did you go ahead and you add that as well so you give that a little spin now to that I'm going to add my cinnamon stick and I'm also going to add my cinnamon leaf because I want this thing to have a, lot, have a lot of flavor. You know how many people have flavor in my kitchen. If enough tastes flavorful, I not eat it. Two tablespoons of vanilla. I'm not going to add the lemon extract yet. I'm going to wait until everything bubbles down and becomes nice and gluey. We want it to become gluey when it comes nice and gluey then we'll come back and we add the, the lemon extract to it see you back in about 45 minutes <clears throat> okay guys so now it boiled on pretty good now guys at this stage you want to go ahead and take out all of the cinnamon leaves and the sticks out of it so you take all of that out so now that is what it looks like, right? So I'm going to go ahead now and add my lemon extract to it. And I'm just going to add a teaspoon of lemon extract. So we'll come back at the last stage. So, okay guys, that should be finished. How do you know it's ready? When you separate the liquid, everything nothing should be forming in the in the middle of the pot that's when you know it's ready and it has that gooey consistency okay if it watery you need to let it boil some more that means it's not ready so that is what it should be looking like just like that nothing less so okay guys here i have my foil on top of my baking sheet now if you have banana leaf, banana leaf is a traditional way of making peanut drops or coconut drops or any drops of any sort. That's how we used to do it in Jamaica. But if you don't have it, don't worry. Go ahead and use your foil. If you're going to use parchment paper, make sure you grease that parchment paper because you don't want it. Be careful when you're doing these guys because you don't want to burn yourself. Okay, it's pretty hot. 
So there is your peanut drops. I'm going to go ahead and let these cool up. It's better when you eat it uh, two or three days after you make them. I'm going to go ahead and make these cool up and then I'm going to show you and I'm going to transfer them on a plate. So see you back later now. So that is my peanut drops. That's how I like it. Just like that. So there you have it guys. Jamaican peanut drops in your kitchen. I hope you like this recipe guys. I hope you find it easy, simple and fast to make. Don't forget to like, or thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy! I'm going to let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for we eat. So, see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. So you know, like, bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.